In this video, we will be discussing equal employment opportunity. There are four scenes of this video, the first being Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, Equal Pay Act of 1963, Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967, Pregnancy Discrimination Act of 1978. Come in, come in. Hello, boss. Take a seat, please. You wanted to see me? It's come to my attention that one of our recruiters has hired you, and you're of Chinese descent. This company has no positions for Chinese descent people. Security will now have to escort you out of the building. <laughs> now, 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 now. <laughs> but, me no Chinese. No? What are you then? Me Korean. Korean? Prove it. Speak Korean. Okay. Well, I guess you really are Korean, aren't you? Yes, yes. Well, you're still fired. Get out. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act was introduced in 1964. It forbids discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. It covers employers with 15 or more employees working 20 or more weeks per year. It also includes labor unions and employment agencies. This act is directly related to the civil rights movement of the early 60s. Individuals such as Dr. Martin Luther King inspired this act. Hey, make sure you have the paperwork done by 5 o'clock. Okay. So what do you have going on over here? I'm finishing up this quarter's financial reports. I do the same thing. I make about 30000 a year. What do really? you make? 30000 a year? I make twice that, man. Well, we have the same job. Hey, boss, why does she make twice the amount of money as me? You know, we decided to try the reverse of the glass ceiling for a change. So I make less because I'm a guy? Yeah, pretty forward thinking of us, right? The Equal Pay Act of 1963 requires men and women performing equal jobs to receive equal pay. This act only applies to employers that are engaged in interstate commerce. In the Equal Pay Act, equal is defined in terms of skill, effort, responsibility, and working conditions. This act allows for pay discrepancies based on seniority, merit, quantity or quality of production, and other non-gender related qualities. You wanted to see me, boss? Hey, yes, take a seat. Randolph, Pierce has decided to go in a younger direction, which means we're letting you go. But I've been with this company for years, years and years. You must have the wrong person. My name's Howard. How can you let me go? We've got the right man, Dumbledore. I'm not sure we have an employee older than you. Like I say, we're going to a younger direction. We need fresh ideas, new ideas, and you're certainly stale. And we have been thinking for this for a while, Carl. Carl? You know, that old short guy from the movie Up? Um, I guess you're not that short, but I will stick with Dumbledore. 
So, Dumbledore, we have been waiting for you to croak, but you just keep on going. You are like some old version of Energizer Bunny. So, we, and I mean me, are letting you go. You're fired. So be it. The Age Discrimination in Employment Act was introduced in 1967. This act prohibits discrimination in employment against individuals 40 years of age and older. ADEA outlaws hiring, firing, setting compensation rates, and other employment decisions based on age for those 40 and older. It covers employers with 15 or more employees working 20 or more weeks per year. It also includes labor unions, employment agencies, and the federal government. You want to yes. see me? Come in. Come in. Sit down, please. I'm sorry, Peggy. But we're going to have to let you go. What? Are you firing me? But my supervisor always tell me how good my work is. What happened? Well, your work here has been exceptional. But you're pregnant, and quite frankly, that bothers me. It's gross. So you fire me because I'm pregnant? Oh, yes. The whole concept of a child developing in your uterus is off-putting. And Steve... Steve? Yes, Steve. That's why I named your Ollie Disturbing Pillow. Anyway, Steve makes me uncomfortable. I'm sure it makes other others uncomfortable as well. Uncomfortable people don't work well together, so I'm going to have to fire you. Security will escort you out of the building immediately. Thank you. The Pregnancy Discrimination Act was introduced in 1978. This act treats discrimination based on pregnancy-related conditions as illegal sex discrimination. It applies all employees covered by Title VII. This includes those employed by employers with 15 or more employees working 20 or more weeks per year. It also includes labor unions and employment agencies.